some of the most devastating damage that we've been seeing caused by large trees taken down by the strong wind. And as we have seen here in the past, it does not take a tornado to do this kind of damage. WLWT News News Giacomo Luca talked with a man who sadly lost his wife while trying to remove a fallen tree. Hi, Giacomo. Yeah, Sheree, yeah, Mike, you know, those trees, they tower over our yards, offering much needed shade and a lot of character to our homes and properties, but weighing in at hundreds, sometimes thousands of pounds, it's not a problem you want falling near you. I spoke with a local tree expert who knows the fatal consequences all too well. What we have is a tree that has a lot of structural imperfections. An Ohio River Valley arborist of nearly 40 years, Tim Back brought us along for a tree inspection. And as you can see, we have a lot of rot and decay. A tree doesn't have to be leaning or losing leaves to be a hazard. A visible root system damaged by standing water and a rotting base, he says, is a sure sign of a potentially dangerous tree. When we look at a tree and find this type of imperfections, we advise immediate removal. And he knows the risks all too well. The tr car flipped upside down and it hit her, killed her instantly. It's been nearly a year since his wife of seven years was killed after a car crashed as the couple worked to clear a fallen tree in southeast Indiana. It's Great. a shame yeah. there should be a system where we can get all these trees inspected before fatalities. In the wake of recent violent storms that brought timber crashing down, first responders like Green Hills Township Fire Chief Tony Spaeth urge homeowners to take care before it's too late. Prevention is always the best medicine, right? So um, if you feel like a tree doesn't look healthy or it's big, it's been there a long time, and you think about, man, if this thing came down in a storm, what would happen? You know, it's always best to have it taken care of ahead of time. Now, if there's a tree in your yard that think that you might think needs to be trimmed, cut, maybe even pulled out, Back says that you should contact a certified arborist to come out to do an inspection to see whether or not anything needs to be done. We're live tonight in Mount Auburn, Giacomo Luca, WLWT News 5.